Gemini. Welcome to your general love reading, baby. It's for October 16th of 2023. How y'all feeling today? It's good to see all of you. Yeah, welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot. If it's your first time here, if you're coming back, you know you a real one. You know you a real one, for sure, for returning. Shout out to everybody who show love every week. What's going on in your love life, Jimmy Jim? Jim, Jimmy, Jim, Jim, Jimmy, Jim. Regret, uh-uh. Mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. Mm-mm, oh my God. I just heard Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake. Wedding, <laughs> forever the one in union. Oh shoot. Ex-lover, <laughs> what a surprise. Past love, memories, nostalgic, old flame with addiction on the bottom. Some of y'all got an ex-lover that got some addictions and you're one of them. <laughs> They stuck on you. They got a lot of regrets when they come to you. Grass is greener. Mm -mm. Jealousy, better option. Unhappy deserves better. The hell? New love. Woo! Honeymoon phase, childlike, moving on, and new beginning. So I don't think you want nothing to do with this ex-lover. Seems like you want this new person intuition your intuition been on point gut feeling psychic premonition sixth sense some of y'all got a sixth sense one more card for my gym jimmy gems somebody's name could actually be gemma party with liquid courage on the bottom somebody about to get drunk and reach out uh-uh hey gemma i don't know and i love y'all uh -uh. yep some of y'all somebody gonna get do 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 and hit up hit you up like what's good yep some of y'all don't want this ex you feel like the grass is greener you feel like you deserve better somebody seeing you as the one somebody seeing you as somebody they can be married to settle down pick their feet around yeah a lot of you are manifesting a marriage the one. Tell me about this regret this person has when it comes to Gemini. Playa. Quick <laughs> text message here. I keep seeing a lot about communication. Charming, manipulative, karmic, and being tested. Somebody was fucking playing games when they had you. Excuse me. Hello? They could have been out in these streets being a player, playette, still wanting to talk to people. They regret it. What's this wedding card? Single? Yeah, somebody is seeing you as somebody they can settle down with. This is somebody that's single, they're guarded, alone, isolated, lonely, and guarded. They do want commitment, they do want marriage, and they could potentially see that with you. Some of you, they see you as mysterious with the mystery card, like... Unique, I just heard. You're very unique. You're not like anybody this person's ever dated. Could be something different about y'all connection. Could be interracial. Maybe you're older. Maybe they're older. Uh, maybe you're into a different religion. Let me see ex-lover. Break up. Walking away, ending, separation is over. Yeah, this ex-lover can't take the fact that y'all broke up. Y'all not together. It's over with the home card. Some of you, they gonna show up at your house. Or they could drive by your house or something like that a lot, hoping to see you. What the hell? Show me the grass is greener. Anxiety <laughs> with third party. Oh yeah, this person was a pain in your damn ass. I mean, a big ass pain. Stress, depression, panic attacks, restless. And there could have been third party shit going on. Nah, a lot of y'all like, nah, the grass is greener. It gotta be greener than this shitty grass. It gotta be. What's the new love? Stressing you out? Nah, boy. Snake, what the hell? Spiritual awakening. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like the new person is not a snake. 
the new person could have dealt with a snake too. Maybe they want to tell you about some situation. Sorry about that. I don't know why I stopped recording. The new person could have been deceived a lot. They could have, they could open up to you about some snake they dealt with. I don't feel like it's them, but this new person could actually be tapped in. They may be spiritual. Maybe they watch tarot or they just, you know, into spirituality because it says spiritual awakening. If y'all had sex, the sex was good because that hookup card tried to come out. Some of you may have pulled cards on this person already. Spiritual awakening again. So yeah, for a lot of you, this person, this new person, they're woke. They may be very intuitive. Some of you met somebody at a party or some type of social event. Healing. Yeah, you're doing a lot of healing. I like it. Wounds, improving, mending, and progress. What's this liquid courage? Bravery, confidence, intoxicated, and odd behavior. Social media and heartbreak. <laughs> somebody going to get tipsy, look at your social media, and reach out. But it seems like they're going to get their heart broken. Could be somebody that caused you heartbreak, grief, disappointment, and pain. Now they want to reach out. Like, get your drunk, slithery ass about my messages. <laughs> the hell you thought this was? Bye, Elroy. Ha <laughs> time for your stinking big ugly ass. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Woo! Gemini. Make sure y'all hit the like button if this is resonating. Comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend. Personal readings, email Miss Hawaii readings at gmail.com. Get your readings in before the new year because once January hits, I'm not taking any new clients for personal readings, okay? So if you've never had a reading with me before, if you've been interested, I would definitely suggest you get it in before January 2024 because you may not have the opportunity in the future, all right? I love y'all. I do. Much love to the members, Patreoners, everybody showing love to this channel. All of you who donated, purchased gifts from my Amazon wish list, thank you. You guys are incredible. Yeah, you are. Ace of Swords in reverse here. The Devil tried to pop out. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all don't want nothing to do with a past person. You feel like they're toxic. You might even curse their ass out. Could be a Capricorn. How does this person feel about Gemini and who are they? Damn, the Queen of Wands. Ooh, somebody think you fine. Somebody think you sexy. Seven of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Sagittarius energy. The Ace of Wands. Wow, somebody's extremely attracted to you. Judgment in reverse. Oh my God, the lovers. Ah! Gemini energy. You could be dealing with another Gemini. Somebody's seeing you as the one. Oh my God, justice popped out with the sun on the bottom. This is a good reading, Jimmy's. Jim, Jim, Jimmy's. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Sag, a Scorpio, another Gemini, a Libra, and you got Leo. A lot of major arcana cards here. So whoever you're dealing with, they think you sexy as she's Nick. I don't know what this Seven of Wands energy is though, because there's a defensiveness. I don't know if that's you or that's them. Justice, karmic justice in your favor. People who did you wrong, they get in karma for what they did. Clarify these. if you guys want to join me in the extended i just saw 444 that could be an angel message for a lot of you guys look that up see what the spiritual message is for you 
What's the queen of wands? Somebody seeing you as, woo, you look dumb good. Somebody has a cat or something like that. A cat? King of Cups. <laughs> you got somebody's ass. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know who this is. The Seven of Swords. Uh-uh. Person don't trust you. Somebody think you look too good. They don't trust it. You attract too much attention. They got feelings for you. The King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But with the Seven of Swords, this person could Remember I picked up on the new person dealing with a snake? Some of y'all, the new person may have a big old snake, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but nah, this person, they've been cheated on or lied to. Something about them not trusting the way you look. Like, you get a lot of attention. Some of y'all, you're really out there. Like, you're, you're always doing something. You're busy. Like, and to make this person feel like, why Jim and I can't sit their ass down? Let me get one more card on this Queen of Wands. This person is into you. Page of Cups, Three of Wands in reverse again. I see communication. They may open up to you emotionally. This person could be very open emotionally. They're giving heavy water energy. What's the Seven of Wands? The Lovers again. You got it fucking twice, dude, with the Page of Swords. You got somebody's ass. I don't know who you got like this. I feel like this person is protective of y'all connection. Like, Seven of Wands could be them wanting to stand up for you. Like, if anybody got something to say, like, something about them being very protective of this connection. Queen of Cups, this person loved you. Yeah, there could be somebody here. So this is for a small few of you. It could be like a family member or a friend or something. Similar message like this came out in Aquarius that don't really like fuck with y'all connection like that for some reason. They could be judging you. I don't know, this person's opinion don't really matter that much. I hate to say it like that because I feel like your person is standing up to them with the seven of wands. What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Ace of Swords. Ten of Cups. Oh my God. With the Eight of Wands in reverse. Who you blocked? Somebody you have blocked feel like, oh my God, their world has ended. This ain't for all of you, but you either block this person or you just curve their message you didn't respond. This person feel like their whole world came crashing down because this person feel like you are the one. I don't know who this is, but they're seeing themselves as having this 10 of cups with you. Could be a Virgo or a Sagittarius, but I feel like they want to talk to you. They feel like you've given up on this connection. I don't know who this is. What's this Ace of Wands? Because that's somebody finding you irresistible. Very sexy. Why am I getting something about sexy photos? Maybe you sent them some photos. Some sexy photos. And this person keeps staring at them. Or a video or something like that. They may even be pleasuring themselves to the photos or the video a lot. Could be an Aquarius. This person, they seeing you as the star. So, something about you shining, you having a healing energy. Maybe some of you are in the spotlight, whatever you do for work or something like that. A few of you could be famous or popular or really known. It really turns this person on. They also really like your stability with the Queen of Pentacles. They think you're very like, you got money, like you're doing well for yourself. You're very independent. You don't need anybody. You're self-sufficient. The chariot. Some of y'all, they really like your car. Something about your car or just how you really be on the move. A few of you may travel for work. They really enjoy talking to you. <clears throat> yeah. What's the judgment in reverse here? 
The past person feels like you're still judging them for shit from the past, the hangman, the high priestess, and the four of pentacles. They're holding on to you. Regardless whether you're judging them, they don't really care. Um, they feel like y'all have a spiritual connection. Something about the past person looking at things differently, like seeing you in a different light. Some of you, they're seeing you as like this divine being, like somebody who's very intuitive. It's like they couldn't see that before. And now it has them like really holding on to you with the moon. There could have been a lot this past person tried to hide from you and keep from you. Some of you are seeing them as a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody very um, unstable, like, What's this lovers here? Because it's here twice. The world in reverse. Oh my God. The three of wands in reverse and the ten of wands. So this past person is struggling here because they still feel so connected to you. They still feel like you're their person. It's hard for them to try to put this behind them. Like they haven't closed out this cycle with you. But it's like it's really hard for them to deal with these emotions that they have for you because they still feel like you're the one. They're trying to manifest you with the magician card. They see you as like some type of powerful being. Like they're just stuck on you. It's like they can't really see anybody else. It's, what's the justice? Somebody's name could be Justina or even Justice or Justin. What's that that flipped over? Six of Pentacles. Somebody that owes you money is finally gonna give you the money. I don't know who that's for. That's not for everybody. But something about somebody owed you money and they finally giving you the money. So I don't know, maybe it took them a long time. They were supposed to then pay you this money back, but I feel like you're gonna get it. Um, justice here, Temperance and the Six of Pentacles with the six of wands in reverse. I feel like the person you're dealing with, the current person could be a Sag. They're trying to take things slow with you. I see them wanting to spend money on you or really give to this energetically. I feel like y'all have a very good equal give and take. They are a good person, a very fair person. They could be a little, they could be a little, um, have some self-confidence issues, but I feel like they are a good person. <laughs> they fucking into you big time. Oh my God. The Empress, the Four of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. They feel like you came into their life. It was destiny. Some of you, they feel like you're going to reject them. Like, they feel like you're too good. This person keeps seeing you, like, in this light. Like, Empress and the Queen of Wands. It's like, you are gorgeous. <laughs> like inside and out like they think your body is perfect like they love everything about you the way you look it intimidates them a little bit though what's the sun here something is happening in the future to make you very happy the knight of something that's been stuck here with the knight of swords in reverse oh some of y'all it has to do with your money with this ten of pentacles Like money could have been stuck for some of you, but I see this stability coming in that some of you have been trying to manifest for a while. Others of you, it's a relationship with the Ten of Pentacles, but it's like a relationship that's stable. Like y'all both got money, you both have the same, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, very similar goals. Yeah, something about this person, like not trying to play games with you, not trying to play no no you know them stupid games and five of swords games it's like something about you being really really happy in love in the future yeah and some of you your happiness got exes or past people feeling a certain type of way because you're happy and some of you, there's a specific past person here. I don't know if it's this person. And don't feel like them. It feel like somebody else. A fire sign that's going to be jealous and mad that you're happy. Hey, mama. Who is this king of wands in reverse? Somebody spying on you, a page of swords here. 
something about your work. They could be spying on you at work. It's somebody who, it's an ex of yours or a past lover that's been spying on your work. <laughs> something about your job with the Eight of Pentacles here and the Page of Swords, that's not for all of you. If you work online or something, then maybe they're looking at that or if they know where you work, maybe they drive past your job. Um, or maybe they're asking employees about you. Who the fuck know? But something about them spying on you and seeing that you've been working hard and working on yourself, even if it's not your actual job, it's just you really on the grind, focusing on yourself, focusing on your coins. It's like you have an ex here, a past lover that's watching all of this front row seat. And some of y'all, it could be your child's father or your child's mother with the emperor in reverse. Whoever they are, they whoever they are, they're giving asshole vibes. Somebody's name can begin with an A or an E. I just heard Edgar. Let me know if that res, uh, resonates. And Evelyn, somebody's name could be Evelyn, and somebody could be going on the eighth, the ninth, the seventh, the second, the fourth, the third, the sixth is here too. It's like an X here that's tight. <laughs> Cause you're happy. Cause you're working, you're making your money, you're working on yourself. You've moved on, cause I see the six of swords on the bottom. It's got this person like upset. And you're also, for some of you, this past lover thought you were gonna run back to them. Whoever they are with the knight of swords in reverse, they thought you were gonna run right back to them. They thought like, oh yeah, Gemini will be back. It ain't nothing. Let them talk to whoever. Like, they gonna come crawling right back to me. No, you didn't. You focused on being happy. Yep. <clears throat> Tell me some more about this past lover that's like watching you and upset that you're making your bread, you're working. Something about your money, your job. Somebody's name could be Leroy or Lee. Again, they upset that you moved on. Some of you blocked this person or you just, you didn't message them. Maybe they thought you was gonna hit them up. This person is really cocky and egotistical. They very arrogant, like, they still feel a connection with you, but and some of y'all, this person, they don't even want commitment or they, they don't even know how to be in a commitment with the higher fun in reverse, Taurus energy. Maybe that's why you stop dealing with them. Like, they feel like a loser with the six of wands in reverse. They feel like a loser. They thought you was gonna be kissing their ass, whoever this is, they cocky. They thought they looked good. They used to people chasing them and they thought you was gonna be on your knees. They really, really thought this. They very stuck up. Very stuck up and arrogant. Obstacles tried to pop out. Let's go into the extended now, Jimmy Jam. Let's see what you can expect in the future in love. Who's coming towards you? What you can expect, if you guys want to join me there, the link is below. It'll take you over to Vimeo, okay? <clears throat> That's where we will continue the reading. I thank all of you for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. That's how you keep more Gemini readings coming, all right? And, um, yeah, if you want to donate to this channel, all that information is in the description box. My Amazon wish list, for those of you that have been asking, is in the description. Yes, your girl, your girl got a birthday in two weeks. If you want to get me a gift, that's really sweet of you, but you don't have to. Your energy and you just being here is more than enough, but I thank you to all of you who have inquired about that. And I do have that Amazon wish list in the description. And um, yeah, again, much love to all the members, Patreoners. Thank you guys for your support. And I hope to see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time, all right? Don't forget to email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com if you want a one-on-one -on -one session with me. You've been amazing, Gemini. Jim, Jimmy, Jim, Jim, Jimmy, Jim. I'll see you guys in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time, all right? Have a blessed week. Thanks again. Love ya. Bye.